Ah, social media. It started as a fun way to convince your friends you were better than them while secretly hating your life. But then it developed into the dominant way of sharing political information to annoy all of your acquaintances. I still prefer doing that in person. We, we know. know! But isn't it great we're able to spread information so much more easily than we used to? Of course! Being able to communicate with people all over the world is awesome, but we can only do that if the people running the social media platforms don't use their power to censor viewpoints they disagree with. They don't do that. Well, 75% of Americans seem to think that they do. You were saying? Well, so what if someone gets censored every now and again for spreading fake news? But it's not just fake news that gets censored. Like when Facebook censored an NPR report on how school shooting statistics are inflated, or when they labeled the Declaration of Independence hate speech. Hmm. Well, okay, Tim, I agree it's not always perfect. But don't you think Facebook and Twitter do have a responsibility to stop misinformation? But that's just the thing! Who decides which news is fake? There are a ton of examples of fake stories that get shared all over social media with no problem. But other stories get instantly censored. The people writing and training the algorithms have a ton of power. And what if they're just using it to shut down opinions they don't like? Twitter's CEO recently acknowledged that conservatives working at his company feel afraid to express their views. There's a reason that most Americans don't trust large social media companies to combat misinformation. Uh, guys? Where do you think Seamus went? Ow! Ah! Cut it out! Stop it! Ow! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, check out feed.org for more educational content. Thank you.